she called me and took the time out when my sister passed away to sit on the phone with me for 30, 40 minutes um, in the middle of her dinner, um, you know, hours ahead of time. And that's just to show her character of um, and her heart and just her, her her being a human, like a genuine, absolute human. Um, what I love about Alana is when something's important to her, she will raise her voice and raise it as loud as possible um, to fight for that. So when it comes to her son um, and um, his Down syndrome, she has been an amazing advocate for um, kids who have Down syndrome and finding ways to incorporate them into society um, to help them develop and, and be, um, you know, non-discriminated against. Her as a mother in sport, she has raised her voice, you know, in those aspects to really um, not just showcase the possibility that it's possible to be a mom and still compete and still have your kids around um, and, and have a family, but um, by breaking down those barriers of discrimination and support that's needed for, for parents in sports. So um, we did grad school together. We both were in online courses um, as roommates. We trained together. Um, we've had to cut weight and, and change our diets together in the sport. So, um, you know, I've suffered a lot of loss throughout my career and, and of, of passings in my family. And I, I'd say probably 80% of the time Alana has been my roommate when I find out the news, um, which is not easy to support someone going through a lot of that back-to-back -back tragic loss. Um, but not once did she ever take it on as a burden. So I'm so appreciative to not just call her a teammate, call her a friend, and call her family 